Hey YouTube, I have been victimized by Palmetto State Armory. I opened my email. It was an advertisement for a gun I never thought I'd buy. This. They know how to get you. Even comes with a peanut tray. Actually, no. It's to keep this fancy case from crushing on itself. But a Beretta Nano. Why? I don't know. This gun more or less epitomizes just about everything that's unpopular in pistols right now. The only thing that really is going for is 9mm striker fired. They seem to be popular. Made by Beretta. Should be a good company. But other than that, it's kind of short and squat. High bore axis. Not the most attractive thing out there. See that? You need a special tool to take it down. That's weird. Notice anything else missing? Hmm. Locks back there. Hmm. Yeah. Weird, huh? does feel good. It's not too bad. It's got a nice heft to it. A little top heavy. Sights are nothing special. Grip's alright. Mag release is a little awkward. Oh yeah, and the mags don't go in all that well. But getting your thumb on the mag release. Kind of do it. So why did I do this? Did I mention the takedown's weird? See this little thing right here? That is a decocker. Oh no, wait, don't need it. Um, so if you want to take the gun down, you need to get something pointy in there. Oh wait, no. Oh, and a special tool. And uh, break it down. Mm -hmm. But modular chassis design, that's pretty cool. Let's swap out the frames, easy peasy. Um, dual captive recoil spring, not bad. So, why on earth did I buy this thing? Oh, did I mention that it's got a double action trigger? It's heavy. And the travel is huge. What a abysmal reset. I mean, all these things add up to this gun. Why is anybody even talking about it? Why the hell do I buy it? With all that being said, though, even with that long pole, it is clean. If you got a good grip on it, like you're supposed to. Sitting here trying to do it in front of the camera. There's no hiccup, you know, hitches, anything like that in the pull. It pulls kind of okay. It's got this weird large opening here. It gets a lot smaller down here. It actually kind of pinches your finger, but it kind of lets you know that you're pretty much pre staged. And when it goes, it breaks actually pretty nice on it. So, for 200 bucks, I figure we'll fool around with this thing. It's got the six round mag with it, and uh, this eight rounder that I don't think anybody is going to accuse Beretta of having engineering that's especially attractive. 
I mean, it functions all right, but it's not quite long enough. Shape's not really great, and it's kind of ugly. So we'll see. These things aren't supposed to like 115 grain ammo, but we're going to take it out and shoot the hell out of some 115 grain ammo, or try to, see if it chokes on it. But that's going to be my fun. Figure, why not? And if it shoots kind of okay, might fool around with some upgrades on it. It's not much out there, but we can fool around with a few things. And kind of looks like the sights are off out of the box, like Gen 5 clock. It was priced three hundred dollars more. It might be a Gen 5 clock. But that's what I know. This is my little project. Let's see what this little thing can do. I'll tell you, without having the slide lock, but my big thumbs might not be bad. I know I tend to get in it on this one on occasion. It's real easy to do. It's real easy to get your thumb over the top on the PPS. Take some practice not to. I mean, size-wise, <clears throat> PPS should be a lot bigger, but it's not. They're about the same size with the six round mags. Nano's just a hair shorter. A little less tall in here. Weight-wise, PPS is like an inch, I mean an ounce heavier. Can you tell? Not really. And that's a lot different. So, hard to go from this to that. Why did I do it? I don't know. We're just going to have some fun. So, that's what I know. See you later.